You know, I don't know who in the heck Jeff Gray from Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations thinks he is acting like a free American, driving down a publicly funded highway, exercising his constitutionally protected right to shoot a bird at a cop. Who does this guy think? Does he think he's in the land of the free, home of the brave or something? That right there is the express mentality of every law enforcement officer who would do what this officer right here, Kyle Gaddy, did to our friend, Jeff Gray. If you don't know about Jeff Gray, he's got the YouTube channel, Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations. He does a stellar job exposing the tyranny in our land. And the first step to eradicating tyranny is exposing tyranny. Now, in this video right here, you are going to see that one of the vital things that you need in your arsenal to combat this tyranny is a dash cam. It is basically your best insurance policy against the policing for profit road piracy schemes of those called LEOs, law enforcement officers. And you're never under any obligation to help that LEO investigate you as he's trying to collect data as evidence against you because he's building a case. This uniformed tyrant is coming to your car if it's a traffic stop or encountering you on the street to build a case against you. The third thing is, are you required to give a cop your proof of insurance which contains the expiration date? Is there a law there that says that you need to include the expiration date in that? And also the last thing is, if cops are really concerned about speed and safety on the highways, then why is it they accelerate above and beyond your speed and then force you through the implied threat of force off the side of the road in a completely unsafe environment where people are whisking by at 70 and 80 miles per hour? Are they really, really concerned about safety or are they concerned about extracting even more money from the tax cattle. Let's listen to Jeff Gray explain exactly what happened here on Interstate 95 in Florida. On Monday, August 7, 2023, I was traveling southbound on Interstate 95 in Flagler County, Florida. I had just finished passing a semi-truck when I noticed a Flagler County Sheriff's deputy parked in the median conducting traffic enforcement. Since it was happy F the cops day, I celebrated <laughs> by flipping the deputy the bird as I passed by him. <laughs> At that point, I was done passing the semi-truck, so I lawfully merged back into the center lane. Now, uh, this is going to be noteworthy here in a second. Look how many car lengths. Let's see. I, I don't know how much space is between a dotted line on the interstate system. Here's the truck. Here's the front of his car. And there's one, two, three, possibly four dashed lines. And this is going to be real key here in a second because one of the tickets that he gets one of the tickets that Jeff gets is for following too closely behind the semi. But Deputy Kyle Gaddy couldn't contain his ego, so he pulled me over and issued me bogus traffic citations. One for following too closely and one for blocking the fast lane. Was Deputy Kyle Gaddy's traffic stop legitimate or was it a retaliation for exercising free speech? Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> him doing that is hilarious. Now what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to turn the sound down here, but look at this. Watch how fast he's got a speed to catch up to Jeff. Look at this. Listen to his engine revving. How fast is he having to go? Jeff by the way is going 70 miles per hour. Now let's note how close or how, how far behind that semi is from Jeff's front hood. Because the cop's going to say you're only one or two car lengths behind that semi. A lie. Yeah. 
Another thing, watch how far off the shoulder of the road Jeff pulls, just to be, you know, add a little bit of safety to this dangerous situation. All the way in the grass. So dangerous, man. Do not minimize how dangerous this situation is. Not just for the person that the cop pulled over, but also for the cop. If your intention is to go home safe at the end of your shift, officer, then stop doing crap like this. There's Officer Kyle Gaddy. Okay, before he walks up and says anything, this is Officer Kyle Gaddy right here. This is obviously it's going to become crystal clear to you that this is a retaliation stop and this is from the flagler county sheriff's office with a publicly listed number 386-313-4911 that's 386-313-4911 the flagler county sheriff's office take it away kyle hello hey how are you flagler county sheriff's office do you have your license and registration insurance with you i do what did you pull me over for Following too closely, sir, and using the passing lane in an improper manner. Really? Yep, you're in the left lane, which is a passing lane. You're holding up vehicles behind you. Florida State statute advises when there's a vehicle behind you, that's obviously attempting to overtake you. Didn't you didn't pull me over for flipping right. you off. What's that? No, I don't care yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Look at his face. With you? Oh, I didn't catch that the first time I watched this. Look at his face when Jeff goes, yeah, you do. Watch this. No, I don't yeah, care about yeah, that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Look at his face. Yes, he does. That is the face of a butt hurt law enforcement road pirate operator. He got his ego bruised and he couldn't suppress that feeling and he had to go after somebody up to and including using state resources. And don't think for a second that Jeff's life is not in jeopardy right here. Because if they pull you over any time for every second you're in front of that cop, you're in front of somebody who could potentially just completely lose it on their own power and their own authority and their own sense of self-importance. It's just, it's an entitlement mentality that puts everybody, everybody in the public in danger. Got your registration insurance with you? Uh-huh. Do you know where your window tents are at? Uh, I don't know, you tell me. I will gladly tell you in a minute. <laughs> All right. Somebody's conducting a fishing expedition here. Looking inside the vehicle, see what we can get on old Jeff. Here. Oh, your window tinning is a little dark. You know how dark it is? Now I'm going to conduct another investigation on you. I know that they're um, manufactured. Okay. You have one that doesn't have the expiration date? Out. No, that's the only one I got. I got active so you don't insurance. have one that shows that you have valid insurance I'm not at the time of my have, stop? It's, it's valid. I got valid. I can't see that. You crossed it out. It's proof of insurance right there. I don't yeah, have it needs to show that it's valid. At no, it it's doesn't. not proof if I can't tell if it's valid. Oh, you can tell if you already told if it's valid. By you know what? Actually, it's not proof at all. Jeff could have literally typed that up and printed it out on his home printer and the cop wouldn't even know. The only way they do know, and they do know, is when they run your plate and they find out whether you have current insurance or not. This is completely unnecessary. They just want another reason for you to comply with their authority. That's what power trippers they are. They'll take anything. You got your ID with you? You got proof of insurance? You got your registration card? They want to see it because it's like, just like David from San Joaquin Valley Transparencies, it's like crack to them, man. They got to get it in their veins. They got to watch you comply. They got to make sure you're submissive. This is what it's all about. This is a psychological operation, guys. And the sooner we stop falling for it, the more free we can actually become in America. That's not what the requirement under Florida State statute is. And it's is not here. required to have an expiration date on it, it either. It's required to show that it's valid. All right. If mm -hmm. I can't see when it expired, it doesn't show that it's valid. Uh, I disagree. By the way, Kyle, corrupt Kyle, get your elbow off of my freaking property, you moron. All right. That's fine. You can hang on to that because that's useless. I'll be right back. <laughs> Watch this. Here we go. That window down about a quarter of the way. I'd rather not. I plead the fifth. That doesn't apply. It does because you're, you're doing investigations to see if I'm committing some sort of uh, infraction, right? Okay. So I'd rather not comply with your the, investigation. The, do you know what the Fifth Amendment is? Yeah. Can you tell me what that is? 
Fifth Amendment. An oath-breaking, constitution-trampling cop is asking Jeff from Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigation if he knows what the Fifth Amendment is as he is currently trampling his Fourth Amendment and would easily trample his Second Amendment if he could. And the only reason for the retaliation stop is because he wants to trample and do something about Jeff's expression of the First Amendment. And he's going to ask, do you know what the Fifth Amendment is? Yeah, I've got no obligation to help you and in your investigation of me. How about that, Ossifer? Uh, it's the right to not self-incriminate. In court. Are we in court? <laughs> no, we're in not court. in court. So what does that apply? Uh, it doesn't just apply in court. Okay. So according to Kyle here, Kyle Gaddy from the Flagler County Sheriff's Office you can only exercise your rights in court. By the way, when you step into court, you've lost all of your rights because what's one of the first things they do before you enter the courthouse? They make sure that you're disarmed in violation of your Second Amendment right. They make sure that you're infringed upon. Do you think you're going to retain any more rights after you pass that threshold? Absolutely not. But Kyle is under the impression here that you can only exercise your First Amendment and your Second Amendment and your Fourth Amendment, and in this case, your Fifth Amendment in court. Are you going to roll the window down or uh, what's, is there any kind of penalty for not doing that? What's that? Is there any kind of penalty for not rolling the window down? Oh yes. You're going to get is. the tickets. Each one. For each window? Yeah. Because each, each window is a violation. Each window is a violation. Now he says each window is a violation and I wasn't up to speed on Florida statutes regarding window tinting, but apparently according to Kyle here, that's right. It says penalties in Florida for window tint violation. If this meter shows your tint is too dark, the officer may write you a ticket. In other words, he can economically terrorize you. Each window that is found to violate the law may result in a separate ticket or infraction. So if you've got your rear window, two side windows, two front windows, and maybe you got a strip across the top, that's four or five, six windows that they can give you a violation for. And it says... As of 2022, the cost for having a window, that's each window, that is in violation of Florida tinning laws, it's $116. Imagine having a job like Kyle, where your job is not to keep people safe, not to get kittens out of trees, not to help old ladies across the street, not to make sure that rights are secured, but your entire job is to be a highway road extortionist. What does that say about an individual who decides to voluntarily get into a profession like that? But how do yep. you know if you have a test? And then hold it over people. That's what they do. They love the power so much. Like, okay, if you don't comply with me, then it's going to be four tickets. And I'm going to charge you more. Oh, oh, you said something that I didn't like. Well, that's going to be another ticket. Oh, you said, oh, I'm going to bring the drug dog out. Let's listen to this again. Listen, Kyle loves the power. Oh, Kyle should be a power ranger. I'll tell you that, brother. That doesn't apply. It does because you're, you're doing an investigation to see if I'm committing some sort of uh, infraction, right? Okay. So I'd rather not comply with your investigation. Do you know what the Fifth Amendment is? Yeah. Can you tell me what that is? Fifth Amendment uh, is the right to not self-incriminate. In court. Are we in court? No, we're not in court. So what does that apply? Uh, it doesn't just apply in court. Okay. Are you going to roll the window down? or? Uh, what's Is there any kind of penalty for not doing that? What's that? Is there any kind of penalty for not rolling the window down? You're just going to get the tickets. Tickets. Each one. For each window? Yeah. Because each each window is a violation. Each window is a violation, but how yep. do you know if you haven't tested it? Because I can show a log of my training and experience with my video here, unable to see through the passenger window. Uh -huh. And when I show it to the judge that you can't see through the window, it's going to be below the required 15%. Okay. I'll take the tickets. Sounds good. Yep. Now watch when he comes back. Watch what he ends up getting. Stay on the phone with me. I got, I'm recording, by the way, okay? He's coming back up to the okay. car. He's coming back up to the car. You for real? He's yeah. talking to James Madison audits on the phone while this cop's got him pulled over. Here's your license for registration, sir. Okay. You're getting your two citations, the ones that I told you about. Impeding the left lane when you're not passing, when the tow truck behind you was attempting to overtake you. And following too closely when you moved over to the center lane behind the semi truck with less than a car length between you, okay? Understood. Do you have any questions about that? No, sir. All right. Citation number is circled, address phone number, record court circled. It's not a criminal citation. You have your options listed on the back, okay? Okay. Sheriff's office case number circled at the bottom as well, all right? All right. If it gets your rocks off trying to get 
people all riled up. That's fine. I mean, whatever. You, he said, it's hard to hear what he said. You can get your rocks off by trying to get people all riled up. What's he referring to? Is he referring to the finger out the window or is he referring to making it hard for the officer because he scratched out the ex expiration date on his insurance? What exactly is he referring to here? However, however you want to spend your day, dude. Have any questions about anything? No, sir, I'm good. You have a wonderful day. All right, stay safe out there. Now, a lot of people were giving Jeff a hard time, and I've seen this before, not just on Jeff's channel, but other people when people say, hey, stay safe out there. I think strategically, that's a pretty good move because you know a judge and possibly a jury could see this one day, and what you want to show them is while you were actually being extorted by a road pirate who was operating under complete lies and fabrication and was making the whole thing up, you can show them, hey, I was completely above board. I have a clean conscience in all this. Even before the judge, even before the jury, I said, hey, stay safe out there. See you later. I called him, sir. I was respectful while he was extorting me. Now, here's the, the coup de grace on this whole thing. Why did Jeff, or why does anybody flip off a cop. Officer Kyle Gaddy from the Flagler County Sheriff's Office responded to this First Amendment protected speech with the very actions that caused people to want to flip the cops off in the first place. Nobody's out there wanting to flip off firefighters. Nobody's out there flipping off paramedics. Nobody's saying F the paramedics, F the firefighters, but they are saying F the police. Why? Because the police are out there doing harm to people. When you have retaliation, and let me just remind you, just give me a, give you a couple synonyms for retaliation, counterattack, return fire, put up a fight, make an attack or assault and return for a similar attack. Is economic terrorism tantamount to or in the same ballpark as somebody exercising their, their right of free expression by lifting the bird against somebody who actually deserves it and showed by their actions after the bird was given that they deserve it. I don't know, man. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comment section below. I will put the original video from Jeff, Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations in the description. Go visit him. Let him know that here's the deal sent you. Let him know if you support what he did, if you think he made a mistake. I mean, he, truth fears no scrutiny for any of us out here. So if you have some criticism or if you have condemnation or commendation, send it Jeff's way. I think he did a great job keeping his cool exercising his right to freedom of speech, exposing the tyranny that was in Kyle's heart from the Flagler County Sheriff's Office. I think all this stuff is a net positive for all Americans who need to see what's really going on in America because I don't want America to continue down the road of North Korea because we're headed in that direction. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought please in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. That's highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, the links are in the description. Become a patron on Patreon, subscribe star, or buy me a coffee, or grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design you can put on a shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone case, pillowcase, whatever you want. Remember, freedom is dangerous. It's unpredictable. It might hurt people's feelings, but the thing that is more dangerous is not having freedom. I will see you in the next video.